I wish it was easy to find a rotary switch that was a double throw switch. If we can't find one, maybe we'll just take this one that's not a double throw switch and wire it to be a double throw switch? Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. For those of you that don't know what a double throw switch is, this is a double throw switch. Actually, this is a double pull double throw switch. But the double pull just means that we have two rows of wiring for basically two different switches that are switched at the same time. For the purpose of this video, we are just going to look at one half. A double throw switch means that power or a signal or whatever we're wiring either comes in on these outside ones and goes out in the middle, or it means that it comes in on the middle and goes out to this one or this one. To illustrate, I've wired this up with a couple of LED light bulbs. So we have power coming in on this middle terminal, and then it goes out on this side terminal to this light bulb, and it goes out on this side terminal to this light bulb. And typically with one that is center off, like this one, it's opposite. So if I flip it this way, power is going to go here. If I flip it that way, power is going to go here. So if we hold it down, we flip the switch, you can see that that light bulb is lighting. Go back to center off, flip it the opposite direction. Now power is going to this bulb. There are all kinds of uses for switches like this. A double pole, double throw switch like this one, where you have basically two sets of switches, is oftentimes used to reverse direction on a DC motor. I have other videos on that. It can be used for all kinds of things. One of my machine tools is eventually going to have a two motor system. And rather than having two power supplies, I'm going to use a double pole, double throw switch to send power from the SCR power supply to one motor or to the other motor. Lots of different uses for a double throw switch. But what if you don't want a toggle switch? What if you want a rotary switch? Can I find a rotary switch that is double throw? The answer is after tons of looking, I did finally find one. The switch that I'm using in my lathe as a direction switch is way bigger than this. It's way heavier duty and it is a double throw switch. But most switches that you find are actually what's called a changeover switch. And what that means is we're switching stuff on this side or we're switching stuff on this side, but there is no communication between this side and this side. I'm gonna demonstrate with a multimeter. Let's get this out of the way. We go to a continuity setting, makes a tone. So if I touch this and I touch this, we have no continuity, so the switch is off. We come over here, we touch this one and this one, no continuity, switch is off. Now we switch that direction. So if I come over here, we have continuity. If I come over here, I have nothing. There is no connection there, there is no continuity. So basically this changeover switch, there are three banks of switches here and it turns all three of them on, but it does nothing for this side. We go back to center off, we go the other direction, we take in, now we have continuity. Again, if we come and touch these wires, we don't have continuity. That is how most changeover switches work. So if we go back to this switch, remember, we have a center common and then two outside switches going to something else. If we take these two white wires and we connect them together, we now have a common input. Let's say it's a power situation. Power is gonna come in here and it's either gonna go out on this one when it's turned that way, center off, so power off on both of them. We turn it this way, power goes over here. So let's go ahead and hook this up to our lights and I'll show you how it works. All right, so just like before, 
we have power coming in on what is now our common. Now, I want to be very clear here. This switch is not directional. In other words, had I taken this blue wire and attached it to this blue wire, that would have been our common, and these two white wires could have gone to each of the light bulbs. So the switch doesn't care if power is flowing in here and out here, or if power is flowing in on the blue and out on the white. All right, if we turn it one direction, you can see that that light has come on. If we turn it off, both of them are off, we go the other direction, now we have light over here. By connecting this terminal to this terminal, we have made this a double throw switch. Now, why is this important? Well, if you need a double pole, double throw, you connect this one to this one, and this one to this one, and you now have two banks of switches that are working just like this guy right here. These two would be a common, and that's one switch, and then the next section of your changeover switch would be the other row right there. So you would have a double pull, double throw. Or in the case of this changeover switch, it's actually three separate switches. You've got one, two, and three. So again, if you connect this one to this one the way we have, and then separate of that one, you connect this one to this one, and then separate of those two, you connect this one to this one, you would have a triple pole double throw switch because it's three separate switches throwing to one side or the other. Keep in mind, a lot of these changeover switches are rated at pretty high amps for AC. That does not mean they have the amperage needed to be used as a direction switch on DC. If you are looking for a double throw type switch, that has the amperage capacity to work on the DC side, you really need that guy right there. And when it comes to switches, size matters. The bigger contacts inside this switch can handle higher amperage, and that's why this switch is so much bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description. This triple pole double throw switch is an excellent direction switch for a treadmill type motor. And the nice thing is it comes pre-wired with connections connected, and you can see it right there. Those are all banded. So that's your common side, and then that side is your outputs. If I were to take this banding off, we'd be back to a regular changeover switch, just like this one right here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comments, and I will get them answered for you. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.